everyone, and welcome back to Nail of the Week. It has surely been busy for me because I'm in the middle of a move. I will be out in a week and a half, out of the old and into the new, and I am super excited, but I've been so busy. I still am trying to keep up, though, with my nails, toes, and outfits of the day for you guys, and a few keto videos here and there, but I'm just so busy. So, but anyways, let's talk about the nails. This week, I did a cute flannel uh, French tip look. Let me show you. I did a background of blue, and then I went over with these lines that match so good with the Fashion Friday's outfit of the day, and I had so much fun with the roses in the last video that I wanted some more roses, and I did these black ones. Aren't those cute in the centers there? I love them, and I love the angle French. I think it's just adorable, and then, of course, this background here, if you remember, I am in my 40s. If you remember that error, uh, we used to get nails done, and it would be with the white tips, and it was called the cotton candy background. This one here isn't called that. It's called Mama Mia, I believe. But if you remember that, that's what it was called, Cotton Candy. So I really like the background on this one. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look as well. There will be a toe design and, as always, a Fashion Friday's outfit of the day that I can't wait to share with you guys. Uh, keep me in your prayers that this move all goes well for me. It's almost over. And then I will be back to doing all seven days worth of videos. So... Let's get started on this design. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Hit the thumbs up, send me some comments. Other than that, let's get started on this design. Hey everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for this week's nail design. It's a beautiful flannel with black roses. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to Nail of the Week. Getting ready to do another new exciting design and we're gonna do kind of a flannel look and we're gonna do it like in a French type look. That's why I started the nails off with this beautiful, um, what we used to call back like in the late 90s when we would do a French white, it was called like a cotton candy. And if you guys are around my age, uh, early 40s, you'll remember what I'm talking about. So it's this beautiful uh, pearly color. It's got like blues and greens and pinks, kind of hard to see on here, but I will show you. It is this one here by the Funky Fingers, and it is called Mama Mia. Let's see if I can get that in there right for you. And as you see, it's got those beautiful colors running through it. That's what I've done as my base. And then I'm going to be doing a French look with a beautiful blue. This one here is by the uh, Sally Hansen Miracle Gel, and it's actually called Tidal Wave. Absolutely beautiful blue. I love my blues, so I'm excited to be putting this one on. And then I'm gonna be working with the LA Colors Art Deco Art Brushes. I'm gonna need black, white, this is kind of a green color, and this one is called Limon. These are just black and white. The pink one here is by Kiss. It's the only one outside of the Art Deco ones, and this one is called uh, Bikini Pink. And then I'm gonna be using the silver as well. I wanna do, like I said, kind of a flannel look, and I wanna use the liner brushes. I think that'll be fun and a design where a lot of you could follow and do. A lot of times I do it with my actual brush and acrylic paints, but this time we're gonna work with my um, actual art brushes. So that's what we're gonna do to make the lines and everything to do the look of a flannel. And then I'm gonna have some fun and add some kind of swirly lines and some roses. And I'm gonna use white and black for that because I'm going to do black roses and I'm going to add in some white to tame it down to make some of the gray just to get some of the lines going in it. I will use both Robin Moses's brush, I believe. I'm definitely going to use her wand. There it is, robinmosesnailart.com is how you order them. This one's called the wand. And the other one here, there it is, that looks a lot better. I hardly ever use this one. This one's called the unicorn. Tip is nice and long and that's to do like striping and stuff. So I might use that to do that swirl look, kind of like, um, uh, what do you call it? Kind of like that, I um, can't 
can't think of the word, but it's gonna be like swirls and stuff and then a little bit of leaves and then the black roses. And I don't know if I'm gonna do it on every finger or if I'm only gonna do it on a couple accent nails. And then I might even work with some foil through some of the design as well. I got this foil kit from Sally's. It came with a blue, there's a purple in there too, and a silver holographic. I'm gonna work with the silver. It also came with a foil glue, so I'll be using that. Like I said, not sure if I will positively use that, but I believe I'm going to. And then when I'm all done, I will top everything off with the Sesh V Dry Fast Top Coat. So I'm gonna get some of the blue going on the tips and I will return to show you what I'm doing. All right, so now I have got the angled French on with that beautiful blue, and I'll show you how I'm doing that. Pretty simple. I'm just taking the brush as my guide, and I'm just gonna go across the finger here. I'm gonna start in the middle just to get some of the paint off so it doesn't run, and then go right to kind of the corner of the nail, kind of like right where it starts. And I'm gonna just go across the nail like that and then fill it in. Fill your side walls in too. Go a little bit farther down with this one and slide it across. And that's how you keep your line, your guide, by using your brush for that. You also can tape across if you don't feel confident. You can put tape down, just make sure everything's dry before you would lay any tape down because that would not be good. And then of course, when it's still wet, you would pull your tape up. I am going to do two coats of this. This is just one, but one is pretty opaque, but I always like to use two of everything. I don't know if it's an OCD thing or what, but I am gonna put another coat on. So I'm gonna get another coat on and I'm gonna let everything dry up and then we're gonna start the lines. Alrighty, now you see I've got that beautiful flannel look going. Isn't that cute? And I've bordered each one with black because it just matches so well with the outfit. Can't wait to share that with you guys. So I am going to show you how I'm doing this. I already did do the black line. I left one open and I'm just dipping into each color to start with. Let's go with the black first. Even though I already did the black line, I realized I needed one open to show you guys. So I'd already done that. So then I'm just gonna turn it to the side here and I'm just gonna do a thin little black line going down. Each one was done differently. So you just do it how you wanna do it. So we get a black line going like that. Then we're gonna go into the white and you should wait for the colors to dry in between. If I have any bleed through, I will stop. But I'm gonna do a white line right about here, just a nice thin one going that way. And then I'm gonna turn my finger and I'm gonna go the other way with it now. And I'm gonna go right about here with this one and just bring it just before the line. You don't want it to overlap that black line that you are bordering your uh, French look with. So just, these do not have to be perfect, your lines, don't worry about that, but just get them to go across like that. And then there's the white. Then I'm gonna go to my pink. And the pink, I'm gonna make sure that I just have a really thin amount of paint because I just want a really, really thin line of pink going down like that. And if you do bleed through, like I said, with the color, just kind of get a little bit more paint. You should wait for them to dry. So just fixing that little spot there. Then I'm gonna go down here and make this a little bit thicker and go across. You kind of want to anchor it, you know, you get it anchored right at the, the edge there, get it anchored and then just go across. Kind of tilt your finger as you're, you know, going across with it, just turn it. And then we're gonna go into the green. We'll put a thin green line right here. Going over these colors. Yes, I know I should be waiting. But if you're careful, you can kind of just slide over the top of them. That's what I'm doing there. Just kind of going over the top and I'm dipping back into the colors just so I can just, you know, fix the color there. Get some of that off of there and just fix that little tip there like that. And then we're gonna go across with it. And I think I'm gonna go right about, probably in between these two. And I'm just gonna go across with a thin little line of the green, just like that. 
And then last, we're gonna do the silver. And the silver, you can really just put the line anywhere. I'm just gonna set one right here. That's what I like about the silver color. And then we're gonna go, I'm gonna do one right here. Just lightly go over the top because the colors are wet. So let's go over the top like that. Now, I am deciding if I'm still going to do that swirl work because I kind of did this design a little bit more different than what I had originally planned. So I may throw a couple little black roses in the design. And if I do, I will return to show you that. Otherwise, I'm going to dry everything up with the sesh feet and I'll return to show you guys the end product. Okay, so as you see, I did put the black roses and some green leaves through it. I just really loved the last set of nails I did with the roses, and I really wanted to somehow get black roses. I love white, but I just wanted some black roses, and I think they turned out cute the way I incorporated it in this design here. So let me show ya. So I'm just dipping into pure black, and we're just gonna start our roses, and I'm just gonna put a couple right here. So you just kind of do like a blob. You know, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Do one, and then we're gonna put one right about here, like that. And then while they're still wet, I'm taking a grayish white, which is, or blackish white, I should say, and I'm gonna go in while it's still wet, and I'm gonna do my lines like this. And then we're gonna go back through it again with a little bit of a darker color, but see how this just gives it that beautiful rose color and then you've got it done. You know, when you do it that way and you're adding in like that, it gives it, you know, the illusion that it is a black rose with the parts of the petals, you know, showing or whatever through. So you got some lighter, some darker, but I love how that looks. I love it. And then we're gonna get some green that I have mixed. It's a, a hot neon green and I've added in a little bit of white because otherwise it's, not opaque enough, so we go like that. I'm just gonna add a little one there. And then off to the side, I'm gonna do another one, and we'll go off to the side here. Oh, there's a little piece of hair there. We don't want that. That is going to ruin the design. <laughs> okay, and then grab a little bit more, and we'll go to this side with it. You just go to one side, go to the other, and then just kind of give it a little pull on the end. Let me make this one a little bit wider here, and then a little pull on the end. And that's what gives your leave look. But I really, really think these are cute. Aren't they darling? I actually want to add a little bit more to that rose. Let me just get a little bit more black here and kind of go off to the side here a little bit more just to give it a little bit more black. I think this one has enough black in it, but I just wanted a tad bit more black and a tad bit more of the lighter color. Whoops, a little bit too much paint on there. Okay, go like that, like that, like that. I just love how you can give it that look of the black by adding in the white like that. I love it. Well, it's a gray. I've mixed black and white together. So, but isn't that cute? And yes, I have messed up this one right here. So I'm gonna fix that. I didn't even realize I bumped that. So I'm gonna fix these roses here, clean up my little mess here, and I will show all of you the end product. All righty, I am all done. And I did decide to leave out the foil, but I do love the way this one turned out and it's going to match even better with the outfit of the day. So I'm glad that I went with this instead of throwing in the foil with it as well. Um, I definitely want to use my foil again, and I will, but yeah, this one worked better just the way it is. I love how it's got that beautiful um, flannel look, and I love the just the single roses done in the middle like that. I think they're gorgeous. I had so much fun doing my last set with the roses that I just wanted some roses again. I'm a sucker for roses, and I just wanted to have some more on my fingernails, so... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Definitely give this one a try. Flannel is so fun. It can be done in so many different, you know, colors, different striping, different looks. So definitely give it a try. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next video. God bless and take care.